Today we'll be showing you how to analyze Amazon FBA deals correctly so you don't lose money. So there is a lot more to buying an Amazon FBA deal than you can buy it for cheap and you can sell it for more on Amazon. You have to look at all sorts of data and when you're new to Amazon it can all seem a little bit overwhelming. So that's why in today's video, we're gonna be showing you the things we look for when analyzing an Amazon FBA deal. So make sure to stick around because this video could save you thousands and thousands. I'll be going through a number of different actual live potential FBA deals and showing you the things you need to be looking out for. So let's get into the video. So the first product we're looking at today is the Sonic the Hedgehog toy, which we can buy for 11 pounds and it sells on Amazon for 28 pounds 68. So of course, that's always the first thing we're looking at when analyzing an FBA deal is, can we buy it for a lot less than we're gonna sell it for on Amazon? So on this one we can, but of course there's way more data we need to look at. So to do that, we use the Profitable Chrome extension, loads of different data points and just collates all the important information into a central place on the Chrome extension. So I've got it up here and after checking the price is selling more on Amazon. So the first thing we need to check is can we actually sell it? Is this item gated? Now I'm just logged into a Profitool test account so we're not ungated on many items but it's really easy to check. You can do it on Profitool. All you have to do is scroll down on the warnings and yet we can see this one is gated. Now getting ungated isn't a deal breaker. It's not the end of the world. It's not too difficult to get ungated. All you need to do is buy 10 units from a wholesaler or a proper supplier who will provide you an invoice and send that off to Amazon. Now I won't go into too much detail on that today. As long as you can get an invoice from a wholesaler, it won't work from a retailer you can get ungated. So sometimes you do need to see it as an investment, but it is worth doing because once we were ungated in Sonic, it means we can sell any Sonic item. It really does open up our Amazon FBA for other similar items like this. So once we've checked the gated situation, and let's imagine we are ungated in this one, the next thing we wanna do is check the return on investment. Now we know there's a big price and difference on this one, so we know the return on investment is gonna be good. So we're gonna be getting 93% return on investment based on the current prices. Now usually we aim for 30% as a minimum. This gives us a nice bit of wiggle room just in case prices do change. And so on this one we get over 90%, which is great because it means we can drop our price a little bit if we need to, because the thing about Amazon is to win the buy box, it is all about price. So if you have got the ability to drop your price a bit to try and win the buy box, then that's great. Now obviously we don't recommend dropping your price too much. You don't wanna get into pricing wars, but having the ability there to do that means you can compete if needed. So we've checked the gated situation we've checked our return on investment the next thing we're looking at is actually our sales so this one we can see it's selling 50 times a month and we use this alongside our competition on the listing so of course sales is very very important we want high selling items but you can go for lower selling items if there's not too much competition so on this one for example there's only two other fba sellers doesn't look like amazon's on the listing at the moment we will check using the price graph to see if they have sold it previously but we also want to be checking how much stock do they have so all we have to do is click the view seller stock data button and we can see these two sellers between them have 29 in stock so it's selling over 50 times a month so that means they should sell out within a month and it means we've got a good chance of winning the buy box we'll also have a look to see how the buy box has been shared as well so so this epic store has had 55 percent of the buy box in this other seller and another seller has had 36 percent. so it does look like the buy box is getting shared around so that is also a good sign now next up we want to check about amazon i did just mention this about amazon not currently be on this, on this listing but we want to check have they previously been on the listing so all we do is we head on to the price graph and we'll have a look over the history of the product and we'll turn off everything but amazon and yet we can see amazon have never sold on this item so that's great you can compete against Amazon, but it is a lot more difficult because they don't always share the buy box so much. And the chances are they're gonna be buying the item for a lot less than you. Now, whilst we're on the price graph, this is the thing we'll be checking next. So the first thing we do is just checking the sales rank, really, just to confirm it is definitely sterling. So typically the drops in this line, we'll drop and we'll lower this down to uh, 60 days, indicate sales. So we can see that this, this is coming down at the moment, which suggests it's selling more. Realistically, we'd wanna drop this price a bit further to try and get them sales up. But we we can see using this sales rank line that this is definitely selling. Now the next thing we check is the price and this is so, so important because the price right now is £28.68, which is great. 
there's it's not a suppressed buy box so that means people are still going to buy it but we want to check is the price high now is it low now what's likely to happen to this price in the future and this is quite an interesting one because it does look like it's a very high price at the moment so we can see it's driven right up actually changed price today but over the last year it's, it has actually been way way cheaper so we would need to think really careful about this deal because there's a really good chance this price may drop when we'll come down to the average data on profit and we'll have a look at the average price over the last year and we can see the average has been 22 pounds so if we change this price to 22 pounds 63 that's only given us a 47 percent return on investment so not quite as good and there is a chance it may even drop lower than this so you've got to think really carefully about deals like this when the price has been lower now of course it's quite possible you'd buy this item you'd send them in and you'd sell them for a high price but there's always that risk that the price is going to come down. So it's really important to be aware of these average prices to try and minimize. You don't want to buy this item. You send it in and the price crashes and it's selling for, for an amount which means you'd be making a loss. That is not worth it. It's not worth buying a deal like that. Now we'll check the prices. So we're getting a good understanding of this product. The next thing we want to do is any potential warnings on this product. So we know this is gated on this account. But we can see there's no IP risk known. It's unlikely it's private label. Obviously, it's a Sonic item. Amazon don't sell, so that's great. It's not oversized. It's not hazmat. Now, the one thing which does show us here is there's two variations on this listing. And you're probably wondering, why is that important? Well, the reason for that is because the best sellers rank, which means how popular the item is, and the reviews, they are for both variations. So you need to understand what variations are the, are the most popular. And that also ties in with these sales as well. So these sales are going to be for the whole listing. So it could actually be the other variation, which is more popular. But there is a solution on Profitable. All we have to do is come down to here and click View Variation Sales. The variation we're looking at is only getting 8% of the sales. So it's really not as popular as it looks. And this is why analyzing is so important because we've gone through all these different data points it doesn't look like a bad deal other than the price is high at the moment but this is an absolute deal breaker for us in its current form only two sales a month and this is why you have to work your way through all these different data points and it can look like a great deal but you can come across just one data point and then realize no this deal is not going to work so we've mostly analyzed this deal now and realistically this is one we'd probably avoid just because it's not selling enough compared to the other variation and we think the risk of the price dropping is too high there'd always be one more thing we would check before buying an fba deal and that is any potential discounts on the item we can buy it from this one is from the entertainer of a toy shop and it's not a discounted item at the moment it is a full price item but what we do is we'd look for discount codes we can use chrome extensions like honey or any potential deals we can get on the item just to make extra profit because sometimes doing that can be the difference between an item being good and being bad so it's always worth looking at discounts now the order you check all these things is personal preference because some people may check for discounts first some people may look at price graphs first it really doesn't matter that's something you'll come to learn when sourcing your fba products everybody does it differently now next we're going to be showing you another potential fba deal and analyzing it and running you through the things you need to be checking for but before we do get into that we did just want to let you know about an exclusive discount code for profitable if you did want a profitable chrome extension it's not just a chrome extension we have though we also have an amazing deal finder a wholesale scanner just a brilliant discord community but some discount codes will pop up just here that's going to save you either five percent on yearly plans and yearly plans already have over 50 percent off or 20% on monthly plans. So it means you can get profitable for almost as cheap as about £10.75 a month. So really, really cheap. We'll also put it down below in the description. So make sure to take that down if you did want to save some money on your profitable subscription. Now up next, we have a product from Mercado and it's this cream horseradish, which we can buy for £3. And it sells on Amazon for £9.69. Now it is slightly different packaging, but that's absolutely fine with Amazon FBA. That's really not a problem. So we'll go through this one with a bit more speed just because I've run you the things we look for, just because I run you through all the things we're looking for. So, so first up, checking it's gated. As I say, we're on a test account. So all items are gonna be showing we're gated just because we don't use this Amazon seller account. But sales, 19 sales a month, so not a huge seller. Only two other FBA sellers on this listing. So potentially it looks okay, but we'll have a look at their stock levels and we're only really gonna be competing with the FBA sellers. So they don't have too much stock, only eight stock in total, but we have noticed again, this is another variation product. So we wanna check the variations probably fairly early. And we can see this one is getting 64% of the sales. So not too bad, it is quite a low seller. Profit wise, it's great, 103% return on investment giving us £3.18 profit after our fees. We could potentially drop our price to get our sales up. No other warnings on this 
item. We'll look through the price graph and have a look over the last year to see what it's been doing. So it has been slightly cheaper, but not insanely cheaper. We'll have a look at the average data as well. The average price over the last year has been, has been £9.26. So still a 90% return on investment with that. We can also see Amazon haven't been selling on this listing, so that's another good sign. So generally this deal doesn't look too bad. The only thing which might put us off this is the low sales. So 17 sales a month really isn't much. And what can happen is you can get stuck with items which are just sat in Amazon's warehouse. And when they have an expiry date like this item, this is something you don't want. So you do need to bear that in mind. Now I'll be showing you just one more item. So stick around to see what we think. And the item is from Smith's Toys. And this is WWE Elite Series action figure for £20 and it's selling them to £32.96 so straight away we know that this profit on this isn't going to be huge just because ideally you want an Amazon listing to be double the price you're buying it for as a minimum to get your 30% return on investment. So having a look at it on profit we can see 24% return on investment so realistically that would probably be too low for us it is still £4.88 profit per unit but that's only because it's a more expensive item it's selling 93 times a month so it's not bad sales overall but there's 13 other FBA sellers on this listing so let's have a look to see how much stock they have so they have 83 in stock in total so realistically that's way too much stock for us to compete with with not crazy amounts of sales so when you see an item like this which you know isn't that good it's probably worth leaving but what we always do is if we find a potential deal We'll stick it in a spreadsheet and we'll come back to it in a month's time and see if the data is looking better now. Because if there's low if there's low competition and it's still doing decent sales a month, there's no reason we can't look to buy this at a later date. So that's the things we check for when analyzing an Amazon FBA deal. Now you can never remove the risk fully when buying FBA deals. There's always risk, that is business, but using Profitool to help you analyze your deals can save you from a lot of mistakes you may make. So we've hoped you found that video helpful. If you did take any value from it please do hit that subscribe button it really does help our channel grow and if there's any other videos you'd like us to make please let us know down below in the comments but that's all for now thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one